Hello and welcome to this podcast thing uh, by filmsbychris.com. That's Chris K. Link in the description. I am Chris. And today I'm going to talk and you're going to either listen or turn this recording off. One of the two. It's up to you. See, you're in control. I hope that makes you feel awesome and powerful. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today uh, is those times where um, you've been doing things wrong. Um, <laughs> sometimes, uh, especially when it comes to software, maybe you've been doing something a certain way and you were doing it wrong, uh, mainly because you didn't realize there was a better way to do it. Uh, but uh, I'm bringing this up because uh, you know some of you are patrons over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. I appreciate your support. And uh, one of the things that my patrons get are uh, downloaded videos, videos, videos they can download. Video downloads, yep. And I've been doing this for a couple of years now. And originally, so a couple of years ago, I had my website hosted through HostGator, which was an okay company. I didn't, I wasn't really pleased with them at the towards the end, and I moved on to what I think were better solutions. So far, so far, I've moved. Originally, way back in the day, my website was done through Tripod. Uh, you might remember Tripod. They were free websites uh, back in the late '90s, early 2000s. Eventually, I started paying to get the ads off my website. Uh, so I had that for a while, and then at some point I started using GoDaddy, um, and then they started bumping up the price. I wasn't happy with them, and a buddy of mine worked for HostGator at the time, and so he gave me like a coupon code, and I switched to them, and I was with them for a couple of years, but then, you know, the intro rate expired, and they wanted to hike up my prices, and uh, I complained, and at first they didn't want to, so I started switching, and then they like, oh, oh, you're leaving? Okay, we'll give you a discount. I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm already leaving. And uh, so I moved to, uh, currently I'm on uh, Vulture. Um, Vulture, and it's the first time I've had a uh, virtual private server. Before it was just web hosting, so it was a Linux machine uh, that I could SSH into, but I had very limited access. With this, I have a full Debian machine running, and, and, and they are no way a sponsor. I want to make that clear. I've, I've been very happy with them. It cost me $2.50 to have a full Debian Linux machine that I have full root access to. Uh, I pay an extra dollar for automatic backups. I can make manual backups, but I want twice a week it makes a, a automatic backup for me. So in case I really screw stuff up, I can go back to a recent version. Um, and for, you know, so with that, it's three fifty a month. Um, my domain name still through GoDaddy because I paid like 10 years in advance. Anyway, uh, one of the drawbacks though, it, it, uh, you know, much, much happier with this. I have much more powerful, you know, more, more processing power, more RAM. It's still, I think I got a half a gigram. It's not a lot, but way more than enough for what I do on it, which I do a lot of stuff through my web server. Um, the one thing is I only have 15 or 20 gigs of storage, which is plenty for running a website. But if I was going to, before with GoDaddy, I had unlimited storage. So I was just posting the videos on there for my Patreons to download with the you know, security key to log in and download them when I would post the links on, on Patreon. So when I switched, I was like, okay, I gotta clear all those out. What's my option now? I don't wanna spend any more money <laughs> if I can avoid it. And uh, you know, I have a few Google accounts. So I started posting the videos. Uh, you know, you got 15 gigs in there. Uh, so basically I would post it, but then I would slowly have to clear out the old videos over time, which I didn't really like doing. Um, plus, you know, a lot of people, and rightfully so, don't like Google. Uh, and so far none of my Patreons have complained, but I wouldn't want someone to not become or complain that uh, I'm putting these video downloads on Google, because some people are just completely against using Google services, which actually is a, another video. I completely get that, but then sometimes the alternative isn't any better and people go to it. But well, I'll do another video on that. Um, and I'm, so I've been doing that for like two years now. So I want a better option. And I'm positive I looked into this at the time, so maybe the feature was added at some point and I missed it. And I'm just now realizing it. And I, I just realized it the other day. And I've uploaded a few things, and I don't know if there's a size limit or a file number limit. But Patreon lets you upload attachments to your posts. And I'm positive I looked for that feature when I first started using uh, doing this. And, um, and I'm assuming they must have added the feature at some point. I was a pretty early adopter to, to Patreon. So, um, so basically what I'm saying is... Uh, at the time of recording this, I still have a bunch of videos that I've already put up on uh, Google Drive that my Patreons will be downloading from, but I'm going to try to just 
post the videos for my Patreons to download uh, and audio files and whatever I create to Patreon itself. Again, I don't know if there's a file size limit or not, um, but so far it's been uh, working pretty good. It allows me to share things with my patrons and if I want um, to give, you know, set access to other viewers later on so the patron patrons get early access. And that's something I, I wish uh, YouTube would add, um, that when I post a video, you have options for scheduled, public, private, or unlisted. And while it's scheduled, if it's scheduled, it's considered private until it's po publicly posted. I wish they had an option that, because a lot of you out there are, are subscribers on YouTube. I would love to have those, you know, you loyal fans who subscribe to me. And I wish that I could, you know, upload a video, give my Patreons, you know, early access to their download videos, but then give my subscribers also some sort of access where you get it a day or two before someone who just comes across my channel. That way, rewarding you guys, you know, so it's basically it posts. If you're a subscriber, you get it at one point and then set another date for it to go public to everybody else just to encourage people to subscribe. I would think that would be a great feature that YouTube I'd easily be able to implement and, uh, and I think it would be great because it would get more people subscribing to channels rather than just wandering around aimlessly on YouTube. Anyway, doing things better, hopefully this is a better option. Uh, I do thank you for listening. <laughs> And uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the description of the video. If you're a Patreon, if you're a patron on Patreon, you probably already know where my website is. Be sure to check it out. There's a lot of videos and stuff you can search through there, and code I've written, and programs. And um, yeah, uh, if you can support me over on Patreon.com forward slash Melix1000. This is Chris, and I hope that you have a great day.